Now last night I did a video imploring Cody Rhodes to calm down. It's sad that me, me, I'm the one that has to be the rational, clear-minded person here and tell the other individual who should know better, who should have better things to do with this time than be bothered with a bum like me, to calm down. Don't get caught up in your emotions. Stop being so serious. Because ultimately, if you could read, you would see that the first half of what I originally tweeted out about Cody Rhodes was very positive. Then I pointed out an opinion that what he said about the WWE and Vince McMahon not holding people back was a political answer, because it clearly is. And you can imagine my utter lack of surprise over the past 24 hours or so, how many freaking Bullet Club marks, how many freaking wrestling fanboy nerds and Cody Rhodes kiss asses try to sit there and pretend like this crap isn't true. The same freaking base of wrestling fans that three years ago we're freaking flaming on Twitter, hashtag cancel WWE Network, because Daniel freaking Bryan not only didn't win the Rumble in Philly, but he wasn't even in the son of a bitch, are now trying to tell me, after three years ago whining and crying about Daniel Bryan getting sabotaged, and Daniel Bryan getting undercut, and Vince trying to hold him down, now they're trying to tell me that Cody is right, and this is madness. I have logic and specific examples and evidence on my side. The opinion does not really matter here. This whole notion of, well, he worked for the WWE. You don't. You didn't, so he would know, and you don't. Number one, that's stupid. Let's remember that the next time you see one of these crybaby wrestlers bitch about their hotel, their rental car, or their airline. If they didn't work for him, if they don't work for him, then they don't have an opinion either, so then they can shut the fuck up. How about that? But, all of a sudden, because Cody Rhodes says it, it makes it true. Even though we have CM Punk, Ryback, and so many other specific examples over the years, time after time, instance after instance, not just what your own eyeballs see, if you choose not to be blinded by your own sheepishness for the WWE, but all these other former WWE wrestlers, if we use your freaking idiotic logic, people, sitting there and saying, they sabotage people, they hold people back, they take away opportunities, they don't know what the hell they're doing. So Cody knows better than all these other people? All these other people are wrong? All these other people are lying? Oh, and by the way, about two years ago, who was one of those people? Cody fucking Rhodes! Call my ass! Sit the fuck down! Nah, Cody, how about you sit the fuck down? Because I buried your ass! I don't give a shit what a Wrestling Inc. or a No DQ or any of these other wannabe Meltzer chop shot dirt sheet bullshit websites say with their misleading slanted headlines and frickin' articles. There is nobody as a wrestling fan with a rational mind that can sit there and say that Vince has never held anybody back or doesn't hold anybody back and doesn't continue to hold anybody back. See? Way Barrett, C. Ryback, C. Cesaro, C. Daniel Bryan, C. Even C. M. Punk during his freaking title reign of 434 days where he was playing semi-main event of fucking People Power versus Cena. Not to mention when at one point in time Punk became the number one merch seller in WWE, they quickly made sure that that wasn't the case any longer. When James Ellsworth was a freaking top merch seller as a babyface. They got past that shit really quickly because they didn't want him to get over that way, so they tried to heal him out. And then when he got over as a freaking heel, they didn't want to get behind him there, so they fired his ass. Not to mention all the black wrestlers, the Hispanic, Latin, Mexican wrestlers, the Asian wrestlers that have been held back over the fucking years. All the years that Vince has been running the WWE, you've had one black guy. And we can say that loosely with The Rock because he doesn't even want to own up to his freaking black heritage. Everything about him is Samoan, Samoan, unless he's doing a goddamn movie with Kevin Hart. Then he happens to remember that his dad was a freaking soul man, Rocky Johnson. The WWE pushes the Samoan heritage. The Rock pushes the Samoan heritage. Bullshit, but he's the only fucking one. You can point to Booker T and Mark Henry. Look at all these other scrub white dudes and scrubs like Jinder freaking Mahal, who frankly ADR, same thing. They got their title runs because of their race, because of their heritage, where so many other guys don't get that opportunity. Like how stupid and ridiculous. 
the women in WWE that have been held back anytime really before 2015, if they weren't some freaking big titty model, they weren't getting a chance. All the two and three minute random ass divas matches? And you're going to tell me Vince didn't sabotage and held back the women? Bullshit! Look at the cruiserweight division now, Cody, you dumb dick! They brought in an entire division of people who work one type of style and one type of way and basically said from Jump Street, we don't give a shit about you. We don't want you working that way, the way you could actually maybe get your damn selves over the way you've worked for several years. We want you to do it this way and everybody's going to fart in it and that's exactly what the hell happened. But that's right, the WWE doesn't sabotage anybody. Jack Swagger was a fucking former world champion, but guys like Shelton Benjamin were and honestly fucking Cody Rhodes wasn't. I can now understand why the Smart Busters always said, fuck Cody Rhodes, because it's stuff like this that makes me say, fuck Cody Rhodes, especially considering I've been a guy for so many years that's been a fan of his. I've supported his work, been a fan of his work, defended him at times, and this is the thanks that I get. This is the bullshit that I get. And I thought last night that was the end of it. All these other idiots sucking his ass and chiming in. Like, how can you look at what was said and think that he owned anybody? His ass got owned. I own his ass, period. Logic indicates that. I made my case, I proved my point. So today, of course, here's freaking Twitter blowing up, still talking about it. The dirt sheets putting out their bullshit, misleading crap. Never mind, again, these are the same dirt sheets that want to sit there and rip off Meltzer and a couple of the other guys that actually have real inside information. Put it on their crappy ass websites, hardly attribute or credit them, surely not pay them for that information, and then kiss the wrestler's ass by doing these slanted things to try and make fans look good, so that way they can kiss the wrestler's asses to hopefully, oh my god, please do an interview for my crappy, crappy, crappy website. It would be awesome! Grow the fuck up! Unbelievable! If that's what it takes, to get a much larger audience, then I'm good. Because at least I can look in the mirror and say to myself, you know, I didn't sell out. I didn't punk out. I wasn't a bitch. I didn't put my tail between my legs. I stayed true to who I was and I was honest. Does that mean you sons of bitches are always going to like it? And if you don't, that's just tough shit. All the crying you do, I ain't got no fucking room to talk about crying with any damn buddy. But beyond that, as I continue to point it out today, the numerous examples where Cody Rhodes was just flat out wrong, the numerous ways that his thinking was flawed, and all tying back to how this was a political thing because he was clearly distorting reality and he fucking knows it, he comes back and responds and says that Vince didn't see world champ in me. But that's not holding me back. Ding dong, dumb dick, that's exactly what the fuck it is. You just subtweeted basically your goddamn self admitting I was right. He didn't see world champion in you. So guess what? It didn't matter what the hell you did. You were never, ever, ever going to be world champion. Period. Even though you were superior talents to guys like Jinder and Jack Swagger and Great Khali. And some of those guys, there are different reasons why they were made world champions. But the whole freaking point of the matter is, a Cody Rhodes wasn't a world champion for a reason. Because even with the family lineage, even with the Rhodes name, that by the way, the WWE wouldn't allow him to use on the independent scene, but they're not holding him back. They wouldn't even let him use the damn family name for marketing purposes. You idiot! Sit the fuck down. Cody Rhodes, how about you sit the fuck down as I teach you yet another lesson? You idiot! How dumb can you be? More importantly, how dumb can you be to think that I would get fooled by this shit? Of course, some other people, a lot of other people are, because they're just going to kiss your ass, because they're going to think, oh, because he's a wrestler, he automatically fucking knows. As we see in the business world, you got all these CEOs that have been in business for 20, 30, 40 goddamn years. That doesn't mean they know what the hell they're doing as a CEO. I look at Toys R Us, I look at Sears and so many other companies and corporations that have closed stores, filed bankruptcy. Those guys made a lot of money. Those guys got to that position for a reason. And guess what? Their leadership absolutely fucking sucks. So again, I've just poked a major fucking hole in your goddamn logic. The whole notion of, oh, you had to work there to know. What about all the other people that did work there that are saying what I fucking said over the years? Bullshit. What happened to common sense and using your eyes and seeing, oh, something doesn't add up here. 
You don't fucking say! Talk about him, a fish out of water flapping around from oxygen. And I, he doesn't understand why I feel the need to be right when I'm wrong. Dude, you are wrong. I am right. I do not give a damn if a single person in the world agreed with me or not. Right is right. And clearly based off of the arguments I have laid out, the evidence that I have provided, if we were exercising this in a court of law, your flimsy apps arguments wouldn't hold up, especially based off of the crap you just said two damn years ago. It would be a slam dunk, open and shut case. Hashtag Schleg Daddy was right. Hashtag Schleg Daddy wins, bitches. It would be breakfast club style domination on your ass. And you know it. But I'm the one that's shook. I'm the one that's emotional. I'm the one that's freaking bothered. As I continue to mention things as specific examples and using logic and reason and still not fully insulting the guy. He's the one that insults me. I'm not the one that insults him. Until now, of course. Because at this point in time, the gloves are fucking off. Because then this dude decides because he can't deal with the logic that I'm spitting at him, he's got to make up false allegations about dummy accounts. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Specifically Cody Rhodes on this. That's not my style. Never has been, never will be. And even people that hate my fucking guts, even the people that have come on here just only to ever shit on anything that I do in a video, have to know, I don't block people like the bitches in the wrestling business. I don't remove comments. I don't sit there and flag comments. I don't sit there and do any of that shit. I most certainly don't need to sit there and create dummy damn accounts. I ain't got time for that. And I don't care. Because as the model for this stupid ass channel is, not the wrestling show you want, just the wrestling show you need. I ain't tucking my tail and running. I ain't a coward. I'm not afraid of this crap. If I believe it and I feel it, then I'm going to say it. And if people don't like it, that's tough shit. And it's about high goddamn time I got back to more of that because frankly we need more of it. In this kissy ass little world that is now the professional wrestling bubble, the professional wrestling universe, we need somebody like me to keep shit real. We need somebody to bring a different perspective because if these are the type of perspectives we're gonna get from guys like Cody Rhodes that should goddamn know better and the fans that kiss his ass only because he's in the goddamn bullet club and they think also because he's a wrestler he automatically knows. Ding dong dumb dicks again, he does not! You need people like me to keep dudes like this honest. If Cody Rhodes wasn't shook, if Cody Rhodes wasn't bothered, if Cody Rhodes didn't get emotional, if Cody Rhodes had a better argument, why would he have to level a false allegation against me? I'm not saying anything false. I'm not making up allegations about him. I'm not sitting there saying he's fucking goats. I'm not sitting there and saying any of that crap. Why? Because I have no evidence to do so. B, it weakens the argument that I'm trying to make. Like, this would be the epitome of the thing if it was me, idiot one, versus another idiot two, and neither one of us were wrestlers, our channels were equivalent in size. If I sat there and made up a false allegation about somebody else, it's a wrap. It's done. It's over as it should be. What the fuck is so different here with Cody Rhodes and all you people that continue to support him? Think about what you're supporting. You are okay with a dude lying. You are okay with a dude slandering me. You are okay with this dude basically making a libel type of statement. You are okay with this crap because you want to kiss his ass so fucking bad. Because you've been programmed to believe that just because they're in wrestling, they fucking know. No, they don't! And if that's the best argument that Cody Rhodes can come up with, if that's the last thing he could come up with, then I've won! I clearly have fucking won. I don't give a shit what any of you asshats say in the comment section one goddamn way or another. How can you rule anything other than that? I provided logic. I provided reason. I even used his own specific examples, not to mention all the other specific examples. Countered everything that was ever thrown against me because so much of it was idiotic. And then you cool and top it all off. This dude fucking lies about me. I'm not creating fucking dummy accounts. If it's something pertaining to professional wrestling... I'm going to tweet on OTRS Central. I'm most certainly not going to create an alternative Twitter handle and mostly tweet about other fucking shows. That's stupid. Cody Rhodes is stupid. Sit the fuck down. Nah, bitch, how about you sit the fuck down? Because your ass just got served. I'll bury your ass. I don't give a shit. How about the dirt sheets run that? Oh, they won't because they're too busy kissing your ass too.